Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The LCA Tejas Mark 1A is the most awaited fighter jet with 83 numbers on order and 97 more in pipeline will significantly boost the squad and strength of Indian Air Force. The Mark 1A is an improved variant of indigenously developed LCA Mark 1. It has additional feature and improvements such as self-protection jammer, active electronic scanned array radar or AESA radar, beyond visual range missiles and maintainability improvements. In its annual report for the year 2022-23, HL has informed that the LCA Mark 1A modification have been completed with integration of AESA radar, electronic warfare suite and upgraded open architecture computer software. The flight testing also commenced for the LC Mark 1A. In fact, LC Mark 1A prototype, which is LC SP25 modified for Mark 1A features, was conducted on 20th May 2022. The Astra Microwave have also confirmed its financial report for financial year 2022-23 that the firm has developed and delivered the Active Array Antenna Unit or Triple AU for Uttam A radar for LC Mark 1A fighter jet. The integration of Uttam ACE radar with LC Tejas will give it an unmatched capability. The Uttam ACE radar integrated with LC Tejas Mark 1A has 912 TRM modules. It is full solid state gallium arsenide based ASA radar. The Uttam radar will have 18 modes in air to air, air to ground, and air to sea roles. The Uttam radar will be able to track LC Tejas Mark 1A aircraft from a range of 140 km, which is quite significant as LCA is smallest fighter jet in its category and has good stealth characteristic due to the use of composite. The AEC radar has 95% indigenous component with only one imported subsystem. It has capacity to track 50 targets in the sky at a range in excess of 100 km and engage four of them simultaneously. The Uttam AEC radar and Angad Electronic Warfare Suite developed for LCA Tejas Mark 1A will soon be ready to be integrated with LCA Tejas. The Electronic Warfare Suite of LCA Tejas, which is now being called as Angad, consists of digital radar warning receiver and self-protection jammer. The major function of the Electronic Warfare Suite is to identify and locate threat signals, attack or jam the adversary's signal operations and give a leverage to the pilots. In last financial year, ADA has also completed the integration of Digital Radar Warning Receiver Next Generation. The LCA Tejas LSP3 was used for integration and testing of Digital Radar Warning Receiver. This integration has been successfully completed by ADA. The next very important component of LCA Tejas is ASPJ that is Advanced Self Protection Jamming Pod. The ASPJ pod developed by DRDO is one of the latest and best in its class. The LCA Tejas LSP5 was used for ASPJ integration which has been successfully completed. The LSP5 has also been used to test the self-production pod by Israel firm ELTA. The Israel's ELTA pod was tested to work alongside with digital radar warning receiver. The flight testing of Israel's self-production pod is also completed. So in summary, LCA Tejas Mark 1A will support two jamming ports. First one is ASPJ from DRDO and second one is from ELTA. The self-protection jammer is an ECM that is electronic countermeasure system that jams the signal of hostile radar and thus provide protection to the aircraft. The jammer first detects the radiation of enemy emitters and compares it with its integral threat library. If the transmission either is confirmed to be hostile or is an unknown threat, the jammer radiates and jams the enemy receiver and thus attempts to protect the aircraft. At the same time, the radar warning receiver also detects the radio emission of radar system, but their primary purpose is to issue a warning when a radar signal that might be a threat is detected. Now, DIDO has developed indigenous ASPJ, that is Advanced Self Protection Jammer Pod and Dhruti Digital Radar Warning Receiver for Indian fighter jets. 
both the systems are completely indigenous beat hardware or software the dhruti rwr detects the hostile radio frequency signal and transfer its data to aspj which in turn jams the incoming hostile radio frequency signal the purpose of this system is to provide protection to the aircraft against ground based acquisition radar fire control radar anti aircraft artillery and airborne multi mode radars now talking about drdo's aspj it is developed on gallium nitride based solid state aesa jammer transmitters aspj is based on active phased array apa ultra wide band drfm that is digital radio frequency memory and an inbuilt cooling system the drfm jammers are famous for their capabilities to severely degrade the adversaries radar and missile seekers the cooling system is another important component of aspj which was earlier imported but now has been developed completely indigenous the aspj pod radiates a lot of energy which in turn generate a lot of heat internally so in order to ensure the proper functioning of the onboard electronics it is important to cool down these systems which is where the cooling systems are used aspj is going to be a single pod now indigenous electronic warfare suite which has been developed for lc mark 1a consists of an internal receiver unit and external pod jammer the internal receiver unit is a new generation electronic warfare receiver system which operates in wide frequency range it is an internal system and fully digital receiver based solution with powerful real time signal processing using complex and adaptive algorithms now the external pod jammer is going to be none other than indigenous aspj pod this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector